Let's see the talk. Really nice.
see the thrust. It is taking my... The thrust is very high, it can easily lift around 3 kgs or so. In lifting my hand, it is very difficult to stop it. Hi guys, this what you see is a permanent magnet large DC motor. Now guys, I got this motor with this chain gear, but I replaced this with a pulley. Pretty smooth workout although the pulley is a little bit wobbly because it's not for this motor I just attached it for rope rotation testing let's point it towards uh, 10 ampere mode one point six amps free running Ah, uh, you saw? Slow speed and then very fast speed. Unstoppable. Yeah, very fast. Now guys, let me also show you regenerative braking at the same time. Okay, first I'm going to charge this motor with this power supply and when it attains full speed I'm going to short circuit the wires coming out from this motor together and then there will be high spark and the motor will try all its power in stopping because of which it will jump so let's do that as you see full speed time to short circuit the wires okay <laughs> you see, <laughs> it's very, very cool. <laughs> Once again, full speed, weight of this motor is 4 kg, somewhere around 4 kgs. Okay, it jumps, and that effect was because the armature and the motor inside gets locked because of the short circuit of these two wires which acts something like a disc braking system a disc brake of a motorbike or a car very cool thing Another. Whoa. i believe the timing was pretty good because of which all the torque hit the motor armature because of which it bounced back so that was the regenerative braking effect now let's proceed to the next part and guys at the same time let's also see if this motor produces enough power in its regenerative braking to light up this car headlamp bulb obviously it is not working right now okay let's run it start running it oops sorry Now, yo, again. So yeah, it is actually generating enough electricity in the braking mode. That's how when you apply brakes in electric bikes or motorcycles, that braking generating power can be fed back to the power source battery or any other appliance you want to feed. Cool. Now guys, enough chit chat about the regenerative braking. Let's measure the current at 24 volts, the no load current it takes.
ओके द फाइनल वायर एंड नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ मच करेंट इट टेक्स विथ नो लोड सो द नो लोड करेंट गाइज इज ओनली टू एम्पियर्स नाउ ओके सो एट प्रेजेंट द लॉस इज समेयर अराउंड ट्वेंटी फोर वॉट्स नाउ लेट्स पुट सम लोड टू इट यू सी एम्पियर्स आर इंक्रीजिंग एज आई एम प्रेसिंग माई फिंगर टू द पुल Three point two five, even four. But my hand starts burning. Fingers start burning because of the friction. Now, guys, there is one more thing that needs to be tested: the regenerative breaking current of this motor. Okay, so let's quickly connect this wire to this term, this terminal. Sorry, yeah. Okay, and then you will see the peak current. Oh. It was nine point seven eight amperes, almost ten amperes. Wow, that was insane! I am going to test that once again. It needs to be tested. Very high current. Oh, now I am excited. Okay. Ten point four five amperes regenerative breaking current. So, guys, now comes the time for current testing. pointing the meter towards 10 amperes current mode and flashing zero okay so let's give it a spin 0.82 let's take it 1 amps 1.32 2.15 yeah 2.79 amps was the max i could do with hand rotation now let's go to rope rotation testing So yeah, the rope has been wound on the pulley. Let's pull it. Whoa, 8.84 amperes. 8.84 amperes, and I didn't even give my full try. Once again. Keep watching the display screen. 11.15 amperes pretty good dc generator guys very high current output let's check the generated voltage now pointing towards 20 volts dc okay keep watching the display screen okay. 16 volts dc again Okay. 19 volts, almost 20 volts DC. The max I could do with rope rotation, almost close to 24 volts DC. The rated voltage. Now let's go for the bulb glowing test with rope rotation and hand rotation. Okay. Keep watching the bulb. The bulb glow pretty bright. Let's keep it like this so that it is visible sideways. Also. Okay so guys that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe and link for that product will be provided in the description it's available on banggood so don't forget to check it out see you soon in my next video